Public Health England has just launched the latest edition of Health Matters, which focuses on improving the uptake of HIV testing. In less than two generations, we have changed the face of HIV from a death sentence in the 1980s to a treatable, manageable condition that we now have the potential to eliminate entirely. The challenge is now not if we can end the HIV epidemic, it is whether we have the will to do so. The World Health Organization and UNAIDS have provided a clear pathway through the 1990 vision to eliminate HIV-related mortality and transmission by 2020. This strategy calls for 90% of people living with HIV to be diagnosed, 90% of those diagnosed to receive treatment, and 90% of those treated to be virally suppressed. The United Kingdom has met the second and third of these targets, but we are behind in ensuring that 90% of people living with HIV are in fact diagnosed. Public Health England estimates that more than 14,000 people have undiagnosed HIV in the United Kingdom. More than 6,000 newly acquired HIV infections were reported in 2015, of which around half were in gay and bisexual men. Two-fifths of all diagnoses are made at a late stage of infection, meaning a tenfold risk of mortality within a year and a greater potential risk of transmission to partners. Reducing late HIV diagnoses can be achieved by improving the coverage and uptake of HIV testing. This will help to diagnose HIV before the infection becomes symptomatic, reduce HIV transmission by decreasing the number of people living with undiagnosed HIV infection, and will help to eliminate AIDS-related deaths. Now, given that HIV disproportionately affects minority groups such as gay and bisexual men and African populations, increasing HIV uptake will also help to deliver reductions in health inequalities, although anyone can get HIV. The main message is that HIV testing services should therefore be communicating to encourage more people to get tested, are that HIV is no longer a fatal infection but a chronic manageable disease, that treatment is available, which allows the vast majority of people with HIV to be considered non-infectious, and that regular HIV testing should be seen as routine health behaviour. This edition of Public Health England's Health Matters brings together the rationale for normalising HIV testing, raising awareness and reducing barriers to testing amongst people at risk of HIV and by health professionals, and encouraging self-testing. It also provides links to innovative approaches to increase the availability of HIV testing. Please take a look at the Health Matters online resource, which includes case studies, blogs, video discussions, downloadable infographics and slides that you can use in presentations and in discussions with colleagues. Thank you for watching.